Hi guys, welcome back. It's me, Joy's Love, the number one empress, and I'm here to do a reading for all signs, and this is how your person is feeling, okay? Um, I appreciate for the deck. I would appreciate it if you guys like, subscribe, comment, and share. Hit the bell on the side for all the updated videos when I post them. If you're like a personal reading or donate to the channel, the information will be in the description box below. Check that out, please. Um, let's get into the reading. God, so a spirit, I ask that you come into me and let me say your words and not my own so that I can give all my signs, all my gods and goddesses the best reading possible, as accurate as possible. Thank you, spirit. Amen. Let the gods and goddesses say amen. All right. Now, let's see how this is going to go. All right. Let's see what's on and popping with your signs. We're going to start with, and I'm, I'm writing this down as I go so you guys, I can time stamp it. Let's start with Scorpios. All right. All right, Scorpio, what's going on? You just in the space of your person is like, you're not talking to me, and this is making me angry. You, Your person feels like um, that they are ready to, you know, kind of let go. They wanting to let go because you're not giving them, you're not talking to them. You're not giving them no clarity on nothing. And they're ready to move forward. They're ready to level up. They feel like that you guys are a match made in heaven, but you are not acting. You're not saying anything. You're not communicating. You could be dealing with your person can be a, a um, Leo. Okay? It's just like you are, you are everything to this person. You make this person happy, and they don't um appreciate and they do not like that you're not talking to them that you're not you know um get working with them on this situation to make it better your person really wants to you know be with you and make a plan on how you guys gonna get this union to get up and working again because they are ready to for a new beginning but you're not talking, so it's making them feel like that you um, have moved on. And they are ready to level up. They are ready to um, tell you all the secrets that they've been holding. They are ready to have a fresh new beginning with you. They're ready for um, you guys to go deeper. And they, they are ready to allow their emotions to, um, they are ready to allow their emotions to show. Okay, they feel like um, that they have did, they, they feel like that this situation has been toxic and, you know, it's like they're ready to turn their back on being dirty and conniving. They feel like that they are ready to stand up and do what it takes to be with you. They feel like that you are moving away from this situation and um, it's like they are ready to whisper something in your ear and let you know that you don't have to guard yourself anymore. I'm here to, you know, help you on this journey, okay? It feels like, look, they feel like that you're everything to them, like you're their soulmate. And they don't want to live without you. It's like, you guys, this person is very sexual, attracted to you. And they just really ready to put away their childish ways and offer you a love that you deserve. They feel like that, you know, they, they know that they have been, um, you know, iffy. They know that they have been immature and they're ready to talk. This is what they want to let you know, that they have grown and they want to, you know, give, give you what it is that you need. 
because without you, they are in agony. It's like they can't live without you. And it's like they don't want to continue to go down this road of this loneliness, you know, because you are someone that they are very attracted to. They they look up to to you. They feel like that you're this, this beautiful goddess and this um, social butterfly that they have been missing for so long and it's hurting them, okay? They have had their time to deal with themselves and to fight the that that devilish energy and that um that that devilish energy that's been keeping you guys separated. So they're really trying to have strength around the situation, but it's it's a struggle for them. But they're you know fighting this um this sensation of you know trying to do things the right way trying to go about a situation different and you know look the situations head on and tackle them you know bottom of the deck the chariot okay so scorpio your person feels like that you are getting away from them and you are everything to them they know that they have you know been a little bit deceitful and everything but they're ready to move forward and do what it takes to get this union back together and away from the negativity they're ready to do the hard work they know that they've been playing games with you and they know that they have to close the known cycle out to begin something new with their thinking the way that they do things before it's too late okay so they're, 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 you know, trying to figure out which way they're going to go, what they're going to do. But, you know, they're being very bored without you. Very, very bored. And they're just ready to be this family person that they know that they can be. They're ready to move forward. They're ready to step up before it's too late. Look at them standing up as the emperor. They really appreciate you, Scorpio, now. And they know that you're turning your back on them because they had, you know, some, some, I'm sorry. Because they, they, they know that you're turning your back on them because they had some dirty ways that they are dealing with now. And now they feel like that they want to give you the love that they, you know, have been keeping back from you. The outcome and advice for this situation is saying this that that you know holding back a bit, feeling alone because you don't trust this person anymore, and you're tired of waiting around for this individual to do the work that it takes. Okay, but it do say. Be um you know let go of the confusion and heal you know so that you can progress so that you can level up so that you can you know um get the happiness that you deserve because this do look like a spiritual connection it's like the yin and the yang and it's um, a very confusing um, situation, but you just have to be a bit more creative within your thinking and heal from the past hurt that you've been carrying along with you. Okay, Scorpios, it's time for you to, you know, dig a little more deeper within yourself and see that, you know, this person is not the only one that has to heal. Because if you are wanting to move forward with or without this person, you will have to heal this hurt that you've been carrying along with you. Okay? Acting like it's not there, but you are hurting. And this is keeping you from leveling up and give it, getting the spiritual connection that God's or spirit has for you. You know, release the, the thought of being confused and not knowing what you want to do. Be creative in your thoughts. Go with the here and the now. And, you know, just move along. Okay? Let me give you one oracle card. I'm going too long for this. <laughs> okay? Look at that. Calling in your soulmate, Scorpio. Your person is manifesting you. 
Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help you bring you help bring you together. So this person is really wanting you, manifesting you, and is on its way. So be mindful of your person and your feelings, and you know, good luck with everything. Wow, that was ten minutes. I'm doing Capricorn next. Alright, Capricorns, Capricorns. How do my person feel for my Capricorns? Okay. So this is 10 for you. Okay. So Capricorn, right now your person is, you know, needing to make a choice on which way they're going to go. They do see you as someone, it's like their soulmate or twin flame. And they are ready to do the work that it takes to get rid of this toxic energy that you guys harvest. This person feels like uh, a kind of player type of energy, like you're trying to um, play them. And they're really a bit... Um, hesitant on giving you the love but they really do care about you capricorn they feel like that you are guarded and they are ready to level up but you have you know been acting towards them in a way of you know you still hurt you know that you this person had you in a third party situation and you know this person had a lot of options and you really wasn't digging it so your person feel like that they are ready to step up and let you know how they feel about you and that they really care and you're everything to them. They feel like that the situation um, was very toxic and they was being controlled by, you know, um, the negative um, devilish energy. They feel like that they're ready to do the hard work that it takes to um, get to get you to be back in good grace with them and they really don't want you to walk away They feel like that you are you know their contentment. They want you know happiness with you and they just really feel like that um, You is you know keep them in the same place and they want to have a family with you and they really care and love you the outcome and advice for this situation you know, bottom of the deck, it can be some deception going on with the six, with the seven, the six and the seven of swords, you know. Um, so you just have to, this person is going through a lot of, um, your person feels like you could be doing things behind their back as well. And you're trying to plan to get away from them. They feel like, um. The outcome and advice for this situation is this person is coming in offering you their love. They feel like that they really need to take their time and, and you as you know, they want to build um a long um stability life with you. They want children, they want happiness, they want peace, they want vitality, they want togetherness, and they feel like that they're ready to step on anything that's in their way from keeping them get from getting their happiness with you. Okay, I'm gonna give you an oracle card for this. You have two of them came out, reconciliation, someone from the past is returning to your life, and honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of the holidays together. So it's like this person is coming back, um, your person will be coming back and, you know, expressing their love, and, you know, saying that they're going to change. It looks like um, you could get proposed to, and things will go to the next level, you know, anyway. All right, so good luck with everything, Capricorns. Now let's move on to the next Pisces. Okay. What thing? Pisces, let's see. Okay. I should have had many decks, so I won't have to put my own shelf like that. Okay. Alright, so Pisces, here you go. 
Pisces, you, your, your person feel like, you know, that you are holding back from them and they need to make a choice on if they want to work this out and do the um, hard work that it takes to get things up and running. And, you know, they feel like that, you know, you was worth it. They feel like that you are, you know, everything to them and very beautiful and handsome. They want to come towards you and let you know that they, you know, want to do the work that it takes to give you, to make you feel their love. They feel like that you have, you know, stood in your power and now they want to offer you um, a peace of mind, love, and all the good things. They're tired of the stuck and stagnant energy, and they just want things to get back in order. They feel like that, you know, it's some secrets that's been going on, and it's a lot of playing with each other's motions and things that's been happening. They feel like that, you know, being away from you have put them in a state of agony, and they don't like the distance that you guys have been um, dealing with. They feel like that you are, you know, everything to them and uh, very different, but you guys just work. But they are, you know, tired of feeling sad and alone and, you know, feeling abandoned and by themselves. So they're just really coming in to tell you how they feel and hopefully you will, um, you know, appreciate them and not argue and fight. They just really want to, you know, express and talk. Um, they want a new beginning. They want, you know, to go deeper. They want to buy, buy a new house or take a trip. They just, you know, some type of business venture as well. They just ready for something fresh and new. Okay? Yep, bottom of the deck, they want to work it out, but they kind of don't trust you. They feel like that you don't care about their feelings and emotion, emotions, and you're just pushing them away. Uh, but they're going to keep going until they get the victory that they want within this union. Bottom of um, the outcome and advice, you know, this person is, you know, thinking about walking away from a situation, but they're going back and forth because they're trying to, um, manifest something new but they also feel sometimes that you be manipulating situations to make them go their your way so it's making them want to walk away from a situation but they love and care about you a lot so you know they're just willing to do the work that it takes to you know get things back up and running and you know how they are supposed to be okay all right let me give you an oracle card pisces Okay, flirt, new love. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. A new person has steered your romantic feelings. So this, you might be walking away from a situation like you attending to, you know, and if you do, flirt, flirt. You know, if this person then step up in time, then it's they lost. So it's time for you to flirt and you got new love coming in for those who are walking away. Okay. That's my Pisces. I'm going to do uh, Virgos now. Okay, Virgos. Virgo. Okay, Virgos, your person is feeling like they uh, want to walk away from this situation because you, you was constantly doing things behind their back and they just tired of hurting and their pain. They feel like that you don't uh, value them and that they um, is just being walked all over. They feel like that you say things that you don't mean and that they really don't trust you and you don't care about their feelings. Uh, Pisces, I mean, I'm sorry, you could be dealing with a Pisces, um, but I do see a lot of air signs up out here. 
um you could be also um just ready to your person feels like they want to get away from this situation so that they can you know be more transparent with their partner and be themselves they re are really thinking about leaving this situation with the will of fortune because there's too much arguing and fighting and bickering going on and this person feels like that you don't care about their feelings and it's too much for them to carry they tired of carrying all you know this these issues with this union they just ready to be happy they're tired of you know staying up late at night can't sleep wondering what you're doing what you're doing it with and they're just ready for their happiness okay um they feel like that they just want to be content and they just want to you know be in a space to where they don't have to worry about um their partner they're ready to that but they're going back and forth about what it is that they want to do because they feel like that you're just juggling them with other people places and things um they are ready for a new beginning with some type of business venture and they're just um you know preparing for that okay they're ready to do the work that it takes to get what it is that they want and if you can't step it up and be everything for them then they might be leaving bottom of the deck they're ready to take action on moving forward and doing what they need to get what they want and it's saying that they're ready to make a choice and a decision about you know getting to a safer place within their thoughts within their life and they're tired they're ready to get out and you know enjoy themselves with um their friends they're tired of listening to your manipulating words and they're ready to um just just allow their emotions to flow and enjoy themselves they um feel like that you um have some type of addiction to something and you blame them for everything they feel like that you just really look down on them and it's really sacrificing their happiness being with you all right um my virgos let me give you a card engagement your love life is extended to a higher level of community communication I mean commitment going to getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bonds um, thickens okay so um this is very hit or miss and Virgos is if you want to do the work that it takes to be this stand-up person for your person it's time to do it now because your person is thinking about getting away from a situation because they just can't do it anymore they don't trust you you stressing them out and they're just really ready to move on and be happy they're, they're ready to get the happiness that they deserve and if you can't give it to them then they're ready to sacrifice their family life and everything with you and move forward Okay, let's do um, Taurus. Okay, Taurus. All right, Taurus, the Ace of Cup, new beginning, ready for love. You know you're not playing. You're ready to go deep. Your partner is in love. Your partner like, I love my Taurus, boo. You was everything that I imagined. You was like, you know, um, you're like um, just everything that I dreamed of. And, you know, I'm going to protect our union no matter what we're gonna do what it takes to make this union work out for us we're gonna you know speak our mind and stand up we're gonna um make a plan to where we are um victorious because you're everything to me and i'm not letting you go and i'm not letting no one in to disrupt this happiness that i'm feeling so right now it's it can be going back and forth you know as well this person really cares and adore you and want to make a plan on how you guys gonna communicate better how you guys gonna um um make a plan on how you guys gonna you know get into a space to where you guys are a bit more a bit more content with each other this um stop your person wants y'all want you to stop overthinking situations and just relax it feels like that you don't your person feel like that you don't address the real reasons 
to what's going on within your head, within your thoughts, and they're ready to take action and ready for you to stand up to be this outstanding mother or outstanding father that you are to their family, their children, you know, the people around. They see so much potential in you, and they're just really ready for you to get the, the uh, take the keys and, you know, be the head. It's time. They feel like that. Um, you know, this situation have got out of hand and they re they are really ready to make things work and allow their um, thoughts to be forefront with you and want y'all communication line to be much better. Okay, um, Taurus, your person is taking their time though, but they really are ready to take action. They do feel like that you are um, the person for them. They feel like that you guys are on the same level, but y'all union need a little more better communication and you need to open up more. Okay, um, because it feels like this, um, it feels like when you sh you shut them out, it hurts their heart. It makes them feel sad, and it's um uh, making them feel abandoned, and it's like they're in um an agony state because they are wondering what's going on within your thoughts. Um, Taurus, you could be dealing with a strong air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, and they they tired of the arguing and fighting. They just want to get back to love. Okay. The outcome and advice is that it's time for you to put away the, the, the dirty, conniving, sneaky ways that you've been doing and to care more about your person's feelings, so, you know, before things, you know, go, go south. Your person wants to be more transparent with the situation and feels like if you don't stop your sneaky, conniving ways, that they will be uh, getting away from this situation and offering that love over to someone who will appreciate. Okay, look at this, reconciliation. It's just saying they want to do the work that it takes to make this union great again, but they hope that you can get on board and be more transparent within yourself and in your um, actions. Okay, good luck with everything, Taurus. We're going to move on to my Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius. All right. All right, Sagittarius. All right, now you're in a space of thinking about your person is thinking about you. Your person is thinking like you're the one for them. You guys are different, but they really do love you and care for you. It feels like that you're sexy and everything. You got the two of cups and the lovers. So this person feels like that this is a spiritual connection and they don't want you to get away from them. They feel like that they're going to do what it takes to make sure that that don't happen, that you don't leave. They know that they've been doing things that hasn't been conducive to y'all relationship, but they are ready to put away from put away those um, silly thoughts. They feel like that you um, that this situation being without you have made them, you know, stay up at long, stay up long nights, and you know, think a little bit too much about what's going on, and it's stressing them out. They feel like that you are doing things behind their back and they really just don't trust you, but they want to talk to you about this situation and make a plan on how you guys going to, you know, get things back together because they feel like, you know, them being alone without you is, you know, making them feel a little um, out of place and, you know, feel alone and like they're in this big scary world without you. Okay, so your person is really feeling like they're tired of holding back and they want to make a conscious choice and a decision to get them into a space to where their thoughts is a bit more calmer and they're not feeling alone and sad and abandoned. So your person feels like that they are ready for, um, they're ready to offer you. Your person is um, 
you know, feeling like that they're ready to offer you their love and look at you like somebody that, you know, um, they want to go deeper with, but they do feel like that you don't care about their feelings and their emotions, and it's all about you and winning at all costs. So they, they, they are ready for something beautiful to happen, and they want you to put those ways aside. They feel like that you guys can be a match made in heaven, and you guys can go to long now with deep conversations and everything only if you, you know, express yourself and start opening up a little bit more and communicating and get on the same page of making a, a decision and a plan on how you guys going to get things up and running. The outcome for this situation, you know, is moving forward on you and making um, their dreams come true. They feel like um, they need to take that time as well because, um, they're feeling a bit confused and feeling like that they, you know, can't do anymore at this time. So they are waiting for you to step up and manifest them and, you know, get what it is that you want. If if it's them, they are ready with open arms because they feel like that you're everything to them. Your person can be dealing with uh, codependency issues and, you know, it's, it's, it's saying that they're trying to heal from this situation, you know, of depending on us, people, places, and things and depending on themselves so they're going through some type of healing process and they're just you know ready to you know change their ways and this you got also religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path so this can be a very spiritual connection and you just you know just be patient and um open the line of communication with them and things should you know go a little bit more better Okay, well, good luck with everything, Sagittarius. I'm going to go on with mine. With my, um, what else am I going to do? Leo's. Leo's. There you go. Leo. So your person feels like that you... Your person feels like that. Let go you, Leo. Your person feel like that they don't really want you to walk away from a situation. And they're trying to be um, the bigger person in this um, situation, Leo. They feel like that um, you was like a social butterfly. And you was very beautiful and handsome to them. They want to, you know, open you up and look inside and get deeper and understand what's going on. Because you was everything to them. And they want a higher level of commitment with you. They feel like that you can be their contentment, but it's like you're you're not stepping up and talking and using your words. They feel like that they can't really do much more with the situation because it's like you got some type of addiction that, you know, it keeps you in a state of blaming them all the time and not taking responsibility for your part. You feel like your partner feel like that they might want to, you know, walk away from a situation because, um, you know, they love you so much and it's hurting them that, you know, you won't turn your back on this addiction that you're dealing with and um, be the one for them. Okay, they they really really love you and want to give you all the love and care that they have inside of them. But it's like this toxic energy is too much for them to deal with, and they they rather you know sacrifice their happiness with you to you know um move forward. But they your person is feeling really bored without you, and they feel like um, that you have been manipulating the situation, and they just really um ready to talk they're ready to stand up for themselves they're ready to you know tell you how they feel they're ready for a new beginning and they feel like that they will cut you out of their life if you don't stand up and change your ways okay the outcome and advice for this situation is that your person um could be taking their time coming towards you because they are feeling heartbroken and they just feel like that you are continuing to do do the um whatever hurt their heart it's like you're still doing it and they're tired of waiting around for you to get it because they have sacrificed so much uh to be in this union 
Okay, bottom of the deck, Knight of Pentacles, okay, and the Ace of Wands. All right, they feel like that. You and the Page of Wands with the Queen of Cups. So they, and the, okay, so they want to, they do want to work on it and give you their love, but it's like they're going back and forth within their thoughts, and they're just really thinking about their family and, you know, having a fresh new beginning, but it's going to take some real slow time dealing with this situation and, um, you know, coming towards you. Okay, let me get an oracle for this situation. It says financial and career. Uh, financial issues are a factor in his love life right now. Okay, so, you know, it could be something dealing with y'all money situation that has... Um, some type of damper on the situation. A past life relationship. You have known each other forever. So this is a spiritual connection. And this is um, a past life, life connection. And you just have to step up and do what it takes to get what it is that you want. Because this is somebody that you know you care and love too. So if it's worth it, do what it takes, Leos. Put the pride aside. Do what it takes. And get your love back. Okay, now I'm going to do cancer. Cancer. All right, all right. Cancer, you're feeling like, um... You're just in a state of, your person is feeling like, no, why you're not here? I miss you so much. You is everything to me. Your person is crying and weeping and feeling like they are long in the attic by themselves. They feel like that you left them high and dry. And you just closing out a cycle and they feel like that you was, you know, the person for them. They feel like that you're their soulmate and they want you back. They trying to manifest you so bad that they just thinking, thinking, thinking about how they're going to get you back into their um space they are um they see that you are don't want to hear nothing that they gotta say and they and you just turning your back on them because you get you're trying to get into a a calm state within your um my mind frame you feel like that this person is very wishy-washy and you can't trust this person. So you looking at them like I'm on a different level than you and I have to move away from a situation and stay connected to my roots because you was very wishy-washy taking your time, giving me the love that I deserve. You feel like that you can't do, your person feels like that, um, that you... Your person feels like that they are so alone without you that they've been waiting um, countless nights for you to call and they're not and you're not because, you know, it, it, it's it's like you don't want to express how you feel anymore. And it's making them result to drugs and alcohol. It's like they're there um, sitting in the attic with them a bottle or a fifth for Remy. And they just, you know, smoking their weed and just thinking about you constantly. Like, when is my love going to come back? Please don't don't um, let this be over for good. So they're really just trying to manifest you back and, you know, stand up in their power. They know that you are in a state of leveling up and they feel like that you're just cutting away at this relationship and they really don't want you to do that okay the outcome and advice for this situation is that it's a mess you see all the cars jumping out but it is saying that it's a lot that um for for you to deal with and it's a lot for your person to deal with and they won't stop until they get you so this person looks at you like you're their radiant sunshine and they won't stop until they get what it is that they want even though this union is too much for them to deal with they don't care they just want you okay bottom of the deck ten of cups heart broke three of swords and the tower so it really is over but this person is not gonna allow it to be over you know they want they feel like that you is a wish that they always wanted and they're not gonna stop until they get you okay okay you got very soon cancers 
clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Clearly decide. Clearly decide, Cancers. Good luck with everything with you and your person. And let's move forward. What we're going to do now, we're going to do Aries. 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 39. Aries. Okay. Aries right now, it feels like that um, your person feels like that you are very much immature and that you're off of them, um, that you're not on that level. And they feel like that they want to get away from a situation and they don't want to be your fool no more. But in the same breath, they feel like that they just, um, sometimes you could be their contentment. It's like they're used to you, but they're wanting something more happier. They feel like that you are doing stuff behind their back and that you feel like that you don't cherish them enough. They feel like that, um. Um, they tired of stressing out about what you're doing, how you're doing it, and they don't trust you. It's like they don't get that good night's sleep, and they're going back and forth in their heads on if they want to work it out or not. They feel like that you're doing stuff behind their back end, they, that you are you are not giving them the love that they're giving you. They feel like that they're putting in more of the work, and you're like penny pitching them, and they really just want to give you, their, give you or someone their love. They they really do care for you when they want a new beginning. They feel like that you have changed them. And they, they want to kind of submit to what it is that this relationship requires of them because they love you so much. It's like they're really, very, very passionate towards you, Aries. But they're holding them back because they don't they don't trust this situation and they tired of waiting around for you to get it right and it's like you guys are constantly falling out new things is constantly happening to where it's just making this person um go back and forth it's stressing them out because you're juggling people you're juggling um them in this relationship the outcome and advice is for um it's like you, this person is very confused because they feel like that they're dealing with a manipulator, a liar, a cheater, someone who do things behind their back, and they feel like that this union is very toxic. So they are ready to get up and address the situation and tell you exactly how they feel. And if you can't jump on board, it looks like that your person is going to walk away because they see you as a loving person, loving and kind, and that they want to give their love to you. But it's like... Um, you're not you're not making it easy on them. You know, they want to go to Long Mound. They want to be with you forever. They want to marry you and take action. But they want you to stand up and give them the love that they deserve and take action on what it is that, you know, you guys, Union, require. This person do see that you guys are, you know, she. this person looks at you guys, Union, like, you know, you're supposed to be with each other. But they can't continue to sacrifice their happiness when you don't want to step up. Okay, um, you have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So, yeah. Good luck with everything, Aries. Good luck with everything. Let's move forward. Move forward. Press forward. Okay, so let's do um, Aquarius. 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 Okay, Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius. So starting out is like your person don't trust you at all. It's like your person says you talk too much and you be telling on yourself. Your person is feeling like that they is so alone and sad, you know, dealing with you and it's like they can't do much more with this situation. It's like your person is giving themselves a pity party because it's too much for them to deal with. They feel like that it's people spying on them as well, even though they are in a bad state and not doing 
doing nothing. So they're just really ready to step up and, you know, take action on what it is that they want out of life. They do love you and they're ready to, you know, have a fresh new beginning. They're ready to speak their minds. They're ready to move forward if you don't um, listen to them and jump on board because they are ready for their happiness. They're ready for a union to where they can be with this person forever, where they can be more transparent, where you guys have each other's back, where y'all stay up long nights, play games with each other, y'all grow old, and this person feels like that they need justice. They feel like that they need things to go their way at this time because they're tired of dealing with a heartbreak. They feel like that you are doing something behind their back, and they don't really um, trust you. That's why they don't trust you, because they feel like that you're spending time with other people, and that you don't really care about their feelings. It's all about you, Aquarius. They feel like... Um, with the King of Pentacles here, that they are ready to, you know, stand up and be more um, self-sufficient, and they're ready to help more within this union because it's like um, it wasn't an equal give and take, and they're gambling and playing with their feelings and emotions. Okay, they do look at you like you as, you know, everything to them. They understand that you guys come from different walks of life and that, you know, you guys are connected, though. It's like that your, your person wants to have... Um, a, another baby or have a baby or something with you and this person wants to be happy and content and um you know spend their life with you you it's like a wish come true to them okay but it's like it's somebody you have to make a choice and a decision on if they worth it or not you have to put in the work that it takes before your person walks away Okay, the outcome and advice is that it's going to take some hard work. So you guys going to have to get you or your person going to have to make choices about how you guys going to communicate better and stop the negative energy and, um, you know, do what it takes to put down this burden. Okay, because you guys is lonely. Your person feels like they wait up in the middle of the night and they just, you know, um, wish that, you know, they just kind of manifesting their life, but they're being, they're very sad. They stay up at night morning, the, the, this union, and they just want to do what it takes to get things up and running right and get their thoughts cleared and into a space to where you feel their pain and just have empathy on them. And they just, you know, in a sad state. You know, they feel like that you're offering them something that's a bit petty and you're not giving them the love that they deserve. And this is why you guys are falling out because you got too many options and juggling situations. And they're tired of waiting around because it's turning them into somebody else. Okay, let me give you an oracle, Aquarius. And these things can go vice versa, make it fit whichever way. And they said codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So it also can be some type of addiction that's happening that's keeping you guys from, you know, being your ultimate higher self and you ruining a union. It can be addiction to anything, any place, any feeling. Food, alcohol, drugs, uh, whatever it is, working, some type of addiction is getting in the way of y'all love. All right, so let's move forward. What else? Who else we got? Um, Libra. Let's do Libra. 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 Okay, Libra. What you got? Libra. All right, Libra. Some addictions going on here. Something is happening to where somebody is, you know, on some um drugs or alcohol and they like point the finger all the time at you it's like your per oh they feel like that you are pointing the finger at them all the times and it's like um they found out something about you to where they feel like that they have the upper hand and making you feel bad your person feel like they're ready to take action on um 
what it is that they really want and they know that they have been offering you some type of petty love that's not on your level. They feel like being without you have them in a state of agony, hurt and pain and it's like they're they're um like they're abandoned. Okay, they feel like they're ready to level up this union and they're ready to cut out anything that's stopping it. They uh, feel like that you might be thinking about walking away from a situation because they're taking their time stepping it up. They feel like that you're holding back from them and that you're trying to figure out a way to get away from them. They feel like that you always... Um, you always thinking. You always in your head. It's like you be zoned off and then while they talking to you and they um, they feel like that you're very distant from them, even though you guys might be close together. Um, your person is staying up late nights and not really getting enough sleep because they like stressed out and anxiety written because they're juggling um, you know, multiple thing multiple things and you really acting like you don't care and um they just want to address the situation to try to um, uh, come up with a plan on how you guys going to make this work. Okay? Your person uh, feels like, whew, it's a lot of heavy energy. And it's like, with, it's a lot of heavy energy. It's too much to deal with. It's like they're carrying a lot. They're carrying a lot and they're really... They are. They know that they have a lot of player ways that they're in and out. They come in and you know act serious, but then they leave you hanging, and it's just a lot to deal with. It's a lot to deal with. I'm just feeling it. Okay, the outcome and advice for this situation is the emperor. This person is ready to step up before you get away from a situation because they know that you're tired of being their fool. They look at you like you as a dream come true and you're everything that they want. They want. So they're going to try to come in and, you know, start something new, possibly family or something like that. Um but this person uh, feels like that you are so nice and kind that you sacrifice so much for them. And they are um, ready to stand up and tell you how they feel. But you have to be mindful of their words because this person has a manipulating tongue. You will, you know, this person feels like you're the everything to them and you, they don't, they want a happy family with you, but they're going to say they're going to stand up because you're so loving and kind to them. So they're going to express everything and they're going to say that they leveled up because they see you um, getting away from the situation and you're everything to them. So um, just be mindful of this person and their words and let them know that you want action. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from usual your usual type and expectations. It's like you're getting away from a situation and you're going to meet somebody new. But, you know, for those who stand, set boundaries for yourself. Know what your worth is. And, you know, move forward. Okay, good luck with everything, Libras. Good luck with everything. Now, we are on... Our last one, and that is Gemini's. Gemini's. And I love you, Gemini's. I'm sorry I did you guys last because you're my number ones. I'm going to give you a bonus reading, you know, maybe tomorrow. I'll give you guys do a bonus reading for you. I appreciate everything you guys did for me and doing for me. Please continue to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Hit the bell on the side for all the updated videos. You know, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. All right. Uh, let's see what's going on for my Gemini's and their person. So, Gemini's, your person want to come up with some type of good plan to where you guys going to work on it, work on each other, help each other, and make this union work. Because they really want to give you their love and they're ready to stand up and be the person that you need. Um, they feel like that they have been walked on from the, in the past and now they're just ready to, and it was too much for them to deal with. So, they feel like that they... Um, um, are ready to 
you know, let you know how they feel, you know, before they walk away from a situation. Because they do love you, but it's like they're going back and forth. They're tired of waiting. They feel like they sacrificed a lot dealing with this situation. They feel like that their heart has been broken, and it still is broken. And it's a third-party situation going on. So it's making them want to close a cycle while and start something fresh and new. Um, yeah, they want they want to get away. Even though they love you and everything, they're ready to stand up for themselves. They feel like as you, you know, walked all over them, took them for advantage, took advantage of them, and it was too much for them to deal with. They're tired of waiting around, sacrificing their happiness, um, and you constantly hurting their heart. They're ready to just get away from the situation because it's too toxic for them to deal with, Gemini's. It's like that you're sneaky and everything. They don't trust you. It's like your words is very, very piercing and it makes them feel sad and alone even though they see like that you're you know their love and everything it's like they want something new because this is too much for them to deal with and it's really sad for them so this is why they holding back they're holding back and you know looking at you like you're a stranger and they, they just really want to be happy and they want you know their wish to come true of being happy and it's like you is everything to them their contentment and everything but they already been they are ready to walk away from a situation if it don't work for them okay the outcome and advice for this situation you have the hangman that tired of this stuck and stagnant energy and you're gonna have to step it up because it's like you don't care about their feelings and emotions and they're ready to get away from a situation and they don't trust your words anymore okay Bottom of the deck, they just they thinking real hard on what it is they want to do, but they're a bit confused at this time. They feel like they can't do that much more, but they're really ready for a new beginning because they want a new baby, they want a family, they want to move forward, and they're ready for like to move in together. They're ready for you know making a nice purchase, and they just want somebody that they can depend on. That is the uh, a addiction that's messing you guys up, and it's like it's not enough. Um, uh, it's not an equal give and take. So this person is really just trying to um, get their thoughts together and they're ready to address the situation for what it is. Secrets has been illuminated and now they're ready to stop being your puppet and they're ready to stand up and um, let you know how they feel. Okay? All right, Gemini's. And this can go vice versa, whichever way. Calling in your soul, make your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help you bring you together. All right? And you have reconciliation so this person that you're dealing with this is the love that you deserve this is i mean this is the love from a back way win this person ain't letting you get nowhere your person is manifesting this union and you just you guys just have to make this plan to get things back and up and running so i'm gonna give you this extra card because you guys are my favorite uh, Paige Ariel, reliable, clever, educated, balanced. An excellent op opportunity will be offered to you. Scholarship or the pursuit of an education. Time to get to work. So something new is on the horizon. It's time for you to level up you, yourself. And you know you guys do the work that it takes to get what it is that is worth it. Okay? Because this union, you know, you guys are soulmates and, you know, do what it takes to, to keep this person that loves you unconditionally. Do what it takes. Make some type of plan because it's hard to find real love these days. Strength. Our angel Ariel. Strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, forgiveness. Right there. It can happen. It can happen. Good luck with everything. Um, Gemini's, I love you guys. Um, until next time, it's me, Joyce Love, the number one empress. Be safe, wash your hands. Happy weekend and peace.